Hi guys, I haven't vlogged yesterday because I was feeling a bit, I was feeling tired and yeah, I'm on my period, uh, so yeah, I just didn't feel super good yesterday. What I did yesterday was studying Japanese, I studied Japanese for maybe two to three hours I suppose. And then I started watching a Japanese movie that was shit. Um, it's called All About Lily Shu, Shu, I think. I feel like I've wasted about a, ye a year, <laughs> about an hour of my life and it's never gonna get back. I cooked with my sister, we ate, that was pretty good. And I watched a documentary that's called Misrepresentation. So if you are interested, you should definitely watch that. If you're interested, you should definitely check that out. Um, even if you're not that interested, it's a very interesting documentary. I think it's well done. The facts are interesting. Um, so yeah, definitely watch it. There are a few things that I need to have done. Otherwise, I don't feel good and have done exactly like I want them to be done. My bed is one of those things. Because I was tired and because I feel like, you know, it's the end of the semester, I'm going back to the south, it's going to be the holiday soon. I feel like I'm slightly and surely releasing the stress, I think, that I did not really realize I had in me because of finding the internship, doing two master degree, meeting people. Okay, I think we're done. I think we are done. I wanted to go to the bus station and surprise Ali to say goodbye to him, but I don't think I can make it because I overslept. But that's fine. I wanted to do that because he must be a bit upset because he lost his memory card yesterday uh, or the day before yesterday on which there was our collab video and a lot of footage from different things he did during the week. So yeah, I can only imagine how you must feel. But maybe I should get some breakfast because I haven't had anything. What's the plan for today? There's no plan for today. Um, actually, I still need to get my sister her Christmas present, I think. So I think I'm going to do that tomorrow because I'm also seeing Shannon tomorrow. So we might just take a little walk or something and do some Christmas shopping, basically, if she's up for that. Or down for it or whatever <laughs> today nothing special today I'd like to write a little bit because I wrote like maybe three sentences that's still better than nothing because actually once you get started with your text or whatever uh, it really helps the fact that you don't have to go to a blank page makes it easier to write even just a little bit by little bit so today I need to write 1000 words that'd be amazing because when I was writing my piece about asexuality which is unfortunately in French. It's fiction and non-fiction and it's kind of about asexuality, I suppose. It's a fragment of life and it focuses on the asexuality. Um, I told myself you have to write at least 1,000 words a day and that really worked very well. But at the same time, I wasn't as busy, you know, I was not doing two master degrees and stuff. So we'll see. I'm watch another documentary, possibly which is called dark black black girls it's about feminism and black women and i need to educate myself on on that that's about it guys i will try to make this vlog a little bit interesting but i'm afraid of the failure so vegetable soupy thing couscous pretty much like what we ate in another vlog i mean the spices and the vegetables are different, but yeah, really easy to make. I'm not inspired, so I'm just gonna let that cook for a while. And yeah, I did it, guys. I wrote over a thousand words. 
and I am super happy and super proud of myself. Yeah! <laughs> I've had this idea in mind for a long time, as I told you in a previous vlog. I don't know if it's just me or, I mean, if any of you write occasionally or whatever. Um, I feel like whenever I have an idea, it was different when I was younger, but now when I have an idea, I need to let it kind of grow bigger and swell and vibrate inside of me and it feels like I can only write when it becomes too much for my body to handle. The weird thing about writing is that, I mean, I didn't do that either when I was younger, but now when I have an idea, I tend to, uh, I do write like the characters, the actions, the sceneries, the main themes, even like style-wise what I want to be more important or more visible but the thing is even if you plan so carefully at least for me I feel like there's always a part of writing that's a mystery and I write I write and I'm like oh god yeah that makes sense that makes sense with this thing I was planning on writing two chapters or something but I did not plan for it to make sense oh yeah that's amazing that's a metaphor that's great because it echoes with this thing but it was not planned and I can always find things that make a lot of sense but that I had not even thought about. And it feels like a text is somehow alive by itself. I don't know, it feels weird. It's kind of like you're a tool for the text or the story to come alive. And yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Usually beginnings are be really like, Ugh, you know, and whenever I read them back, like after, you know, um, I've finished the story or the text or when I'm halfway through it I'm like hey, I really need to work on that again seriously because you just feel like you're not as much into the story as by you know a few pages or you're not as mature or whatever so the style is usually quite different and not as satisfying as the rest but I feel like this is a good start so that's pretty cool and hopefully tomorrow I will write as well so yeah <laughs> By the way, if you're curious, I do listen to music while I'm writing and lately I've been listening to Citizens, which is a very old band, a very old, but it's quite an old band and I love that song. It feels, it's amazing with the story I'm writing, so you should definitely check them out if you don't know them. This one is my favorite. Close your eyes and tell them where it hurts They are the sickness, I am the cure Yes, I will love you more Fuck! <laughs> okay, so that wasn't empty It was full of water, yeah Let's Just peel all those apples I'm not gonna peel them, I think Am I gonna peel them? I'm not even going to peel them. So all you want to do is cut those apples in pieces that are not very small but not very big. Thank you for the precision. I mean just maybe like that. That's more than enough. And you want to cook that in a little, little, little bit of water. Um, so you actually do not need any sugar. You could add sugar if you wanted to. But I never really add sugar. What I add though is cinnamon, 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 because cinnamon is good. So be as generous as you, as you wish to be. Then what you want to do is mix it. Um, I know I said don't add a lot of liquid or whatever, but I have this, um, actually it's uh, apple juice that I haven't used. But I'm gonna use that to boil my apples. So it's gonna be really apple, apple-y, 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 whatever. A little bit of vocab for you. In French, apple is pum, 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 pum. In Japanese, it's ringo. As the drama will be filmed. In Korean. It's sagwa. In German, apple. So guys, let me know how do you say apple in your language.
Guys, I just realized this was probably one of the most boring and weirdest vlog because I'm quite weird in this vlog, I don't know. I guess I didn't take any medicine though. The medicine I usually take when I have a migraine or when my periods are so painful that I cannot even function anymore, they make me high, like really high. Like I feel good, nothing matters, I'm free, I'm relaxed, I sleep so well, I feel like my body is warm and so soft and uh, <laughs> it feels amazing uh, but I didn't even take them so I don't know I guess I'm just like I slept quite well and I never sleep well so maybe that's why maybe also I just wrote and that just felt amazing and I'm quite excited to go in the south if you've been watching my first vlogmas you remember was it last year no, it was two years ago. Shit, that's already three years of doing Vlogmas. Okay. So if you've been watching my first Vlogmas, you know how crazy it is for me to say I'm happy to go back to the South of France. Sorry that I'm not replying to all of your comments on my Vlogmas videos, guys. I do read every single comment. I appreciate every single comment. I mean, if it's a good one. Uh, by good one, I mean a respectful one. And it means a lot to me. I just don't really have the time. But if you want to interact more with me, I suggest you maybe follow me on Twitter. On Twitter, I'm usually more likely to reply. And also on Snapchat, because sometimes I just like to interact with you guys. And obviously, I do have Instagram and I also have a blog. So, don't know why I'm saying that. But I feel like, you know, I'm never self-promoting or whatever. So, maybe you guys don't know, but I do have all of all of those websites and the link down below. I don't talk about everything on my YouTube channel. Uh, I do get personal on Tumblr and Instagram and Twitter, maybe a lot more, and on my blog, yeah, than sometimes on YouTube. So if you're interested, check that out. I think that's gonna be it for today. Sorry, this was a very uneventful vlog, but please be patient and bear with me. Soon I'll be in the South and you'll see wonderful scenarios, my friends, my family and stuff, and yeah. Hope you guys are doing amazingly well and I shall see you guys. Bye!